All right, as a little bonus, oh, I didn't want to have to do this today. We're gonna to do shin conditioning with Gabriel. And I present to you the Conditiontron 5000. Now, many of you will have seen that great gif from the internet of that guy doing practicing his like shin kicks on the corner of a wall with like a bit of stuff designed to go on your corner of the wall so you're not just shin kicking the corner of a fucking wall and it drops. And then guess what happens, Amber? Kicks the fucking corner of a wall. And I can feel that in my soul every time I see that fucking picture. <laughs> and so this has some bits set up to prevent that from happening. So there's that bit of like yoga mat wrapped around the bottom, right? And what that does is it prevents catastrophic shin failure. Cause I mean, look, there's, you know, either I can kick through a house pile on and I've got bigger problems on my hands or my shins are gonna fucking explode. But sometimes while that's good for deep conditioning, you want the fucking hurty conditioning of the fucking kendo stick. And make no mistake, good lord, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Normally I do it pretty gently, but like, it's just pain. Cause the good thing is, is like, you know, a kendo stick is like fairly like movable, you know? So it does shift out of the way, but you do also want to get like the bottom of it. And so what this will do is give a combination of like the slappiness that sort of deadens the fucking skin, which you want, cause God, it hurts. And the more pointedness mm. of something a bit dense, but thin, like something another human might have on them somewhere. And so generally, I mean, you want to start slow, but like for this demonstration, we're just going to put some pepper on it from the word go. So a lot of the time, you know, depending on what kind of kicking uh, school you come from, like the Thai will do like very kind of like, you know, straight leg, just slow in and just battering ram. Uh, styles like Taekwondo, like things like uh, Mirko Filipovic when he was still kicking heads uh, would chamber the kick and that let him kind of come high or low depending on what he was doing. Um, you know, six or two threes. For conditioning purposes, it's not really important for this anyway. Uh, okay. No! So that sucked a bit. Um, the good news is that, you know, I've done that a fair bit, so... It's not debilitating, but um, you know, the reality of this and the reality of a lot of these things is, especially if you see people doing it who are quite good at it, uh, you'll think that it's like, oh yeah, that looks like it doesn't hurt. No, it hurts. It'll always hurt a little bit, but the idea is you just get used to it and accepting of it. So you don't, uh, you know, you don't look a crack, ah, and then can't walk forever. <laughs> like, you know, little pain now saves a lot of pain later. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be a solid bruise. That's uh, coming on slow.